Well, they're going to have to go again for another half an hour. Both sides still with one substitution in the bank. But... It's like it may well be Leicester who will finish the stronger. Knockout, he's got beyond Briggs, still going. Knockout goes to ground as Cassetti leads on him. Penalty! That is a massive decision! What a huge decision given by Michael Oliver! I'll tell you what, I'm not completely sure about this. I'm, I'm with Gianfranco Zola. I feel that Knockhart is looking for this penalty. There might be some contact on him, but he's looking to go to ground. We'll get a better view here. He does brilliantly to get into the penalty area, but once he knocks it past Cassetti, there's a slight touch. To me, he throws himself to the ground, and that is a massive call for the referee. I felt he was probably going to book Knockhart, but he's given a penalty, a massive call, and I'm not convinced he's got it right. Knockout, for me, is looking for it. Well, it's a season-defining call, nothing short of that. If Knockout, who won it, scores it, Leicester City go to Wembley, and it's the end for Watford. Knockout takes, Almunia saves, Knockout follows in, Almunia saves again! Absolutely astonishing. Now here come Watford. Forestieri. Here's Hogg. Dini! Do not scratch your eyes. You are really seeing the most extraordinary finish here. It almost mirrors the final day. With the very last kick of this playoff semi-final, Troy Deeney wins it for Watford and sends them to Wembley. Well, we talked about Troy Deeney being an influence in this game and that is exactly what he has been. But to me, not justice has been done in terms of the penalty. I didn't feel it was a penalty, so Knockout not scoring, I felt was right. But you talk about a team that just doesn't give up, that keeps going, that keeps believing. Almunia, the hero at one end, and within 10 seconds, how quickly do Watford come straight down the other end? Talk about being positive, about believing in yourselves. They just keep going, they keep the ball alive. And Troy Deeney has covered an awful lot of ground. Jonathan Hogg does quite brilliantly here to knock this back. Composure, you betcha. What a finish this is, and well, it looks like Watford are going to Wembley. Take all the heartbreak of that final day. It all comes spilling out. Gianfranco Zola slips over as he celebrates. The sheer euphoria pouring out from everyone, managers, players, supporters, as they came on for some slightly preliminary celebrations. The pitch being cleared again now by these stewards, but how about that? How about that? There's a word I've used about Matai Vidra, composure. When that ball broke to Troy Deeney, there was no panic, he was so relaxed, he wasn't worried about the, the state of play, the stage of the game, he just concentrated on doing what he's, he does best, and that's hit the target, make sure you score, and it's just, well, it's heartbreaking for Leicester, but what an opportunity to get to Wembley for them. They miss the penalty, they sweep down the other end. This is why we love the Football League, we love the Championship, and this is why we love the playoffs. I don't believe he does, though.